हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर दैट इज इज मैटर अराउंड ऑस प्योर दिस इज द टॉपिक इज मैटर अराउंड ऑस प्योर सो सम इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन विल डिस्कस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन विल डिस्कस सो वेन एवर आई एम डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन यू ट्राई टू गिव द आंसर एज क्विक एज पॉसिबल एंड यू सेंड युअर आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स ओके एंड अनदर इंस्ट्रक्शन इफ प्लीज स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री गोल यू सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर बेटर नोटिफिकेशन एंड यू विल गेट ऑल्सो नोटिफिकेशन रिगार्डिंग द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विदाउट लेट लेट अस स्टार्ट द quiz that is multiple choice questions in the chapter is matter around us pure okay so the first question is which is a compound from the following here choices are aqueous copper sulfate aqueous copper sulfate copper sulfate pentahydrate and magnesium ribbon and iodide salt here answer correct answer is copper sulfate pentahydrate because aqueous copper sulfate is a mixture of copper sulfate and water magnesium ribbon is pure it is element and iodide salt it is also mixture so correct answer is b copper sulfate pentahydrate that is cuso4.5h2o this is a compound then second question second question is air is regarded as a mixture because first choice it is pressure may vary its uh, temperature may change its volume changes under different conditions its composition may vary so the correct answer is absolutely correct this d option is d because the composition vary there is no fixed composition that's why it is a mixture in different places are different composition of different gases that's why it is a mixture okay then question number 3 two substance a and b when brought together form a substance c with the evolution of heat the properties of c are entirely different from those of a and b the substance c is it is a just explanation regarding the combination of a and b forming c so are the properties of c this is the point are the properties of c are entirely different from a and b that means a compound new substance that is compound is for so choice will be a a compound is formed so the substance is c is a compound because a and b forming a new substance c which property is totally different from a and b so answer is a then fourth number questions which one of the following is an example of a heterogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture means not uniform composition so mixing up two white salts in solid form then dissolving two white salt in water then dissolving two different colored salts in water you see uh, here the cases if you see the dissolving two salts in water means salts will be dissolved so that it will not be a that is homogeneous then it will be homogeneous it will not be heterogeneous because question is heterogeneous mixture so mixing of two white salts in solid form mixing of two white salts in solid form that's why it is a heterogeneous mixture because the salts if water soluble if it may be one or two all mixture will be homogeneous because it is water soluble so any two solid two or more solid mixing up two or more solid in solid form is always heterogeneous so remember this is the answer is a then question number 5 an element is a dash substance element is always a pure substance element is always a pure substance so 
it is the choice is b the particles of colloids are smaller than what is the size that is less than 1 nanometer less than 2 nanometer less than 5 nanometer less than 1000 meter so correct answer is this is one that less than 1000 nanometer this is the size of collets if it will be more than 1000 nanometer it will be suspension so so this is regarding the size of particle of collets then question number seven the amount of solute dissolved in a given volume of solvent is called you see the question again the amount of solute dissolved in a given volume of solvent is called concentration of solution concentration of solvent concentration of solute and none of these the correct answer is that is what concentration of solution because when solute is mixed with solvent it gives solution so the concentration mainly uh, expressed the concentration mainly expressed for the solution not solvent not solute question number eight which of the following are homogeneous in nature ice wood soil and air you see homogeneous ice ice is also made of water it is also homogeneous and wood is not homogeneous and soil is not homogeneous because soil content different types of minerals and air is also homogeneous so answer will be first and fourth where is the first and fourth so answer is c c is the correct answer so ice and air both are homogeneous the next question number nine two substance a and b were made to react to reaction a third substance a to b like this this is the reaction which of the following statement concerning the reaction are incorrect you have to read the question carefully whether it is whether it is asked correct or incorrect true or false we have to check so your answer is which is incorrect the product of a to b shows the properties of substance a and b this is not satisfying because a to b is a compound as a to b is a compound so product of a to b shows the properties of substance a and b it is wrong because once the compound is formed it loses the properties the product will always have a fixed composition this is the correct the product so form cannot be classified as a compound this is wrong because a to b is a compound the product so form is an element it is also wrong the product so far is an element it is also wrong so uh, question is that you see which is incorrect here which is correct the product will always have a fixed composition this is correct the product a to b so the property substance a b is incorrect the product so form cannot classify compound this is incorrect the product so form is an element it is wrong it is a compound so answer is incorrect means answer is first and uh, third and fourth which is the first third and fourth this is c answer this is the correct answer first third and fourth this is the incorrect statement okay then question number 10 two chemical species x and y combine together to form product p which contain both x and y p contains both x and y x and y cannot be broken down into into simpler substance by simple chemical reaction which is the following concerning the species x and y and p are correct so as x and y combine form p and x y as per the statement x y cannot be broken down into still st st simpler substance that means x is a element and y is element and p is a compound okay because here you see combined together form a product p which contain both x and y because p contain both x and y so p is a compound this is correct x and y are compounds it is wrong and x and y are element this is correct p has a fixed composition that is also correct so answer is first third and fourth first third and fourth so answer is d this is the correct particles of true solution is called colloids crystalloids coarse particles and precipitate so correct answer is crystalloid 
that is B, choice B is the correct answer. Particles of true solution is called crystalloid. Color of colloidal solution depends upon amount of solute added, amount of solvent added, size of particles, concentrated solution. So, correct answer is size of particles. Then 13, question number 13. In a compound, elements are dash in a dash proportion. Diffuse and variable, that is wrong. Chemically combined and fixed, this is correct. So, choice will be B, chemically combined and fixed. Compound elements are in a chemically combined and a fixed proportion. So, this is the answer is B. One diagrammatically, one question is given. You observe the diagram. Identify the compound from the following. Which is the compound? Here you see that in A, all are same type of substance. That is in atomic form. So, it is the what element age element you see b b is the combination of elements but in a fixed ratio you see two red one blue so all are in the fixed ratio so b is a compound c you see two blue balls join one molecule and red and one blue that is also one molecule as the combination of blue and red in different ratio so it is a mixture and D also a mixture, we, you see the combination all are different. If different substances are mixed in different that in uh, any ratio, not in a fixed ratio, these are called mixture. So as question is identify the compound, so answer will be B. So here choice will be A, B, that A is a already element, B is a compound. So answer is Arun has prepared zero 0.01% by mass solution of sodium chloride water, which of the following correctly represents the composition of the solution. Here 0.01% by mass of sodium chloride, that means solute is, solute is 0.01 gram and your solution is 100 gram. Then solvent is how much? Solvent is how much remaining? 100, 100 minus 0 0.01 what is the result that will be 99.99 this is the correct answer 99.99 so answer will be C what is what is the question given 0.01 percent by mass of solution sodium chloride in water which of the following correctly represent the composition of solution here in the question salt given and solvent given solute and solvent so 0.01 is the solute and 99.9 gram 99.99 this is the amount of water so this is the correct answer then question number 16 which type of liquid is separated first by distillation method low boiling point high boiling point equal boiling all the same time so answer will be a a is the correct answer Okay, question number 17. Separation of different components of air in the given order. You see, already you have uh, read in the your, this chapter that separation of different components of air by uh, which method? The method is liquefaction method. So, which is coming first? The answer is D. Carbon dioxide is first, then nitrogen, then argon, then oxygen on the basis of their boiling point. Low boiling point will be separated first, then higher boiling point. So, answer D is the correct. What physical properties used to determine what component will separate out during the process of fractional distillation? Which property is responsible and what is the principle? That is, answer is on the basis of boiling point. Fractional distillation means boiling point is the main criteria. Low boiling point will be separated first then high boiling. What change of state is included in fractional distillation? Mainly which change of state is included during fractional distillation? Melting, evaporation, condensation and both B and C. The correct answer is both B and C because evaporation takes place, the vapor produce, again the vapor condense to form the original liquid. So B and C both is the correct answer. All bakery items are colloidal system of bakery, your biscuit, your bread, 
everything it mainly contains air in solid that is gas in solid so correct answer is c gas in solid so mixture of common salt sulfur sand and iron filling is second with carbon disulfide and filtered through a filter paper you read carefully the the filtrate one thing you can do whenever you are uh, confusing you can pause the video and uh, read the question twice so that you can do uh, you can understand the question clearly you can pause the video so mixture of a common salt and sulfur sand and iron filling here common salt sulfur sand and iron four things are mixed then it is sack with carbon disulfide liquid the filtrate is evaporated by dryness in a china dish what will be left in the dish after evaporation you have to see which will be soluble in carbon disulfide carbon disulfide is a solvent mainly out of this sand is water insoluble sand is insoluble in carbon dioxide iron fill is insoluble in carbon dioxide common salt also insoluble in carbon sulfide only sulfur will be soluble as sulfur is soluble the solution the filtrate mainly contain sulfur and carbon dioxide if you heat then carbon dioxide is a volatile liquid it will be evaporated then sulfur will be left so this is the correct answer okay then question number 22 purity of a solid substance can be checked by its which one boiling point solid means it cannot be common boiling point will not consider melting point solubility in water solubility in alcohol mainly melting point because melting point also indicates the purity because if it is a solid it has a fixed boiling point mm, fixed melting point so from melting point we can know we can identify the nature of solid a mixture of zinc chloride and lead chloride can be separated by distillation because these are solid cannot be distillation cannot be used crystallization you know sublimation because only i use for volatile substance acidic is adding acid is it is wrong so as as two solids can be purified can be separated by crystallization method because the low low soluble solid will be separated first by crystal cell method high soluble will be separated later so this is the very important method for the separation of two solids by crystallization method on the basis of their solubility what is the principle of centrifugation you know centrifugation is used to separate the lower density higher density substance so here the principle of centrifugation is size of reduction principle filtration principle evaporation principle sedimentation principle the correct answer is sedimentation the heavier substance which is water insoluble which is soluble is not soluble in solvent it will be settled down then if you use use centrifuge machine then due to the high density it will be settled down at the bottom of the container that's a sedimentation is the very important principle for the centrifugation crystallization is based on the principle of which one difference in melting point boiling point pressure and solubility the most correct answer is solubility which of the following is known as mother liquor mother liquor means after filtration that substance is left that pass through the filter paper that will be called mother liquor so mother liquor is solvent solute solution filtrate so most correct answer is filtrate filtrate contain solute and water both solute and solvent both contain so this is the filtrate so correct answer is filtrate is called mother liquor okay then at a high altitude boiling point of liquid decreases boiling point of liquid increases no change in boiling point melting point of solid increases you see in higher altitude pressure is low low pressure means low boiling point so this is the correct answer boiling point of liquid decreases this is the correct answer at high altitude pressure is low so liquid boils at lower temperature so boiling point of liquid decreases in which phenomena water changes into water vapor below its boiling point below its boiling point the main phenomenon is your which one evaporation in which phenomenon water changes into water vapor below its 
boiling point answer is evaporation and at its boiling point that is boiling if you boil the liquid that means at it boils at a particular temperature that is the boiling point but if liquid generally evaporates at room temperature below its boiling point that is called evaporation evaporation always takes place there is uh, always takes place it does not depend upon the generally the temperature it, it mainly depends on temperature when the temperature will be high then evaporation will be high but at all temperature evaporation takes place solution in which no more solute can be dissolved at a given temperature pressure is called no more that means no solute will be dissolved that much required already dissolved that is called saturated solution gel is the colloidal solution of gel gel is a colloidal system mainly contains whether liquid in liquid liquid in solid liquid in gas and gas in liquid gel always contain liquid in solid because it is most of uh, substance is solid so little amount of liquid is added that's why liquid in solid is called gel okay then solid in solid mixture solid in solid mixture is always heterogeneous remember solid and solid mixture is always heterogeneous then then assertion reasoning question you know assertion reasoning question it has four choices generally first choices there will be two statement one statement is called assertion and second statement is called reasoning assertion and its reasoning so its reason two statement will be given if the both statement are correct that is called um, if both statement are correct and reason is the correct explanation that is the choice a if both are correct but reason is not correct explanation that is b and reason is false and assertion is correct that is c but if assertion is false and reason is wrong reason is true that is called d choice is d so you see the examples assertion that a mixture of acetone and methanol can be separated by fractional distillation it is correct because both are volatile liquid and it can be and boiling point difference is very less it can be separated by fractional distillation this statement is correct reason the difference between their boiling point is very less this is correct due to their very low difference in boiling point it can be separated by fractional distillation so answer is a a is the correct answer because both are true and r is the correct explanation of assertion means a 33 a mixture of camphor ammonium chloride camphor also a volatile solid ammonium chloride also volatile solid cannot be separated by sublimation it is wrong so this statement is wrong because both are volatile can be separated by sublimation remember you have to know the nature of solid liquid and gas then you can tell which method will be applicable so camphor on heating sublimes ammonium chloride does not camphor on heating mixture of camphor ammonium chloride cannot be separated by sublimation it dekho it is this statement is also correct this statement is correct because camphor and your ammonium chloride cannot be separated by so because both are volatile cannot be cannot be used in the separation because both will be separated so assertion is correct because both are volatile we cannot use sublimation method to separate any one and camphor on heating sublimes ammonium chloride does not it is wrong it is wrong because both are sublime so one is sublime other is not means it is wrong so assertion is correct but reason is wrong so which is the choice you see the choice is assertion is correct and reason is wrong which one assertion is true and reason is false so c answer for you i am showing so answer is c c the correct answer because a is correct but r is wrong then another question colloidal solution are stable and the colloidal particles do not settle down it is correct brownian movement counters the force of gravity acting on the colloidal particles that is correct that's why it is stable due to brownian movement due to collision 
द पार्टिकल्स नट सेटल डाउन कंटिन्यूसली मुविंग सो रिजन इज करेक्ट आसर्सन इज अल्सो करेक्ट एंड रिजन इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ आसर्सन दैट्स वाइट ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर बोथ आर करेक्ट एंड रिजन इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ आसर्सन ए सल्यूट इज होमोजेनियस मिक्सचर ऑफ टू और मोर केमिकली नॉन रिएक्टिंग सब्सटेंस ए सल्यूशन इज ए होमोजेनियस मिक्सचर ऑफ टू और मोर केमिकली नॉन रिएक्टिंग सब्सटेंस दिस इज करेक्ट सल्यूशन इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू सेम फेजेस ऑफ मैटर सल्यूशन इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय कम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू सल्यूशन इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय कम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू सेम फेजेस ऑफ मैटर इज इट करेक्ट टू सेम फेजेस ऑफ मैटर कैन प्रोड्यूस सोल्यूशन नो इट इज रंग इ मे बी डिफरेन्ट फेजेस ऑल्सो सो सोल्यूशन इज प्रिपेयर बाय कम्बिनेसन ऑफ टू सेम फेजेस इट मे और मे नट बी सो रिजन 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 इज नट करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन अफ ए सो रिजन इज रंग सो आंसर विल बी सी ए सल्यूशन कंटेन्स सिक्सटी ग्राम सुगर एंड फोर हंड्रेड एट्टी ग्राम वाटर सो सल्यूट इज सल्यूट इज सिक्सटी ग्राम एंड सलभेंट सलभेंट इज फोर एट्टी ग्राम देन व्हाट इज द सल्यूशन दैन सल्यूशन इज फोर एट्टी प्लस सिक्सटी दैट इज हाउ मच फाइव फोर्टी सो फाइव फोर्टी ग्राम इज द मास ऑफ सल्यूशन बट व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन कैलकुलेट द कंसेंट्रेशन कंसेंट्रेशन फॉर्मूला इज मास ऑफ सल्यूट बा मास ऑफ सल्यूशन मास सल्यूट इज सिक्सटी मास ऑफ सल्यूशन इज फाइव फोर्टी इंटू हंड्रेड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ सल्यूशन कंसेंट्रेशन सल्यूशन सो व्हाट सो व्हाट विल द आंसर सो जीरो जीरो कैंसल ना दिस विल बी हाउ मच हियर यू सी दैट इज सिक्स इंटू दैट इज नाइन सो हंड्रेड बै नाइन सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर हंड्रेड बै नाइन इट विल बी सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर इलेवेन पॉइंट वन वन द टर्म एलिमेंट वाज फास्ट यूज बाय द साइंटिस्ट हुच इज द एंटोन लाभसियर डाल्टन न्यूटन रबर्ट बॉयल सो करेक्ट आंसर इज रबर्ट बॉयल कॉन द टर्म एलिमेंट so the term first derived by robert boyle element element the term derived by robert boyle the particles of solution are smaller than 1 nanometer this is the correct answer the particle size less than 1 nanometer means solution okay if it will be 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer that is colloidal solution if it is more than 1000 nanometer that is the suspension so remember this is the particle size of different types of solution which are not the properties of mixture which are not the properties of mixture not properties means not satisfying either be heterogeneous or homogeneous in nature it is correct mixture may be homogeneous or heterogeneous proportion of substance vary in an indefinite manner that is also correct indefinite manner proportion of substance vary in definite manner so this is wrong mixture retains property of its compound this is correct but question is not the properties so c is the correct answer which is c is the correct answer examples of mixture mixture is a combination of different substance petrol is a mixture of different hydrocarbon it is a mixture distilled water is not the mixture kerosene is a mixture of hydrocarbon so a and c this is the correct answer a and c is the correct answer then correct relation between degree of celsius and fahrenheit you know this formula very important formula fahrenheit is equal to your fahrenheit is always greater than celsius scale so 9 by 5 into celsius scales plus 32 this is the correct formula of fahrenheit scales and celsius scale very important f is equal to 9 by 5 plus c plus 32 so that fahrenheit scale is always greater than celsius scale which is the heterogeneous matter which is the heterogeneous matter salt solution it is not heterogeneous air 
not heterogeneous milk is heterogeneous water and spirit it is not heterogeneous because milk is a colloidal solution all colloidal solution are heterogeneous so correct answer is c salt solution is homogeneous air is homogeneous water and spirit soluble that's why it is homogeneous so milk is a colloidal system that's why heterogeneous all colloidal system are heterogeneous which state is called intermediate state intermediate state is generally remember liquid because if you take solid convert to liquid liquid convert to gas gas convert to liquid liquid convert to solid that's why liquid is the intermediate state in between solid and gas that's why correct answer is b which state has smallest intermolecular space smallest intermolecular space is solid solid has very low intermolecular space maximum in case of gas at what temperature celsius scale and fahrenheit scale are equal if you apply the formula f is equal to 9 by 5 into c plus 32 if both are equal if you put f 9 by 5 into f plus 32 both are equal then if you solve it if you solve it then it will be how much 9 9f plus if you multiply if you take lcm then it will be how much 0 160 it will 160 5 to 2 that is 0 10 0 1 5 3 15 is equal to 5f so if you take 4f is equal to 160 minus 160 it will go out right side so f will be minus 40 so minus 40 is the correct answer so minus 40 is the because uh, as per the question both are same so f c can be replaced by f it is f it is f because as per the question both are same then value of f will be 940 minus 40 how do the temperature of liquid changes during boiling when the liquid boils temperature remain constant remember there will be no change of temperature when liquid boils similarly the solid melts the temperature also same during melting during boiling temperature remains constant because the ex- the heat supply is utilized to break the intermolecular force of the matter whether it is a liquid or solid if you supply heat that supplied heat will be utilized to break the intermolecular force of matter that's why temperature will not be changed during change of states steam is more likely to cause burn injuries than boiling water why steam steam causes more effect more burning effect than boiled water because steam you see the correct answer steam has more heat energy than boiling water this is the correct steam has less heat energy wrong both have same heat content wrong water has more latent heat is wrong so correct answer is a due to more heat content in steam steam gives more burning effect at the top of hills water boils at lower temperature because at the top of hills the pressure is low atmospheric pressure is low because the boiling point of liquid depends upon atmospheric pressure low atmospheric pressure at the top of hill means pressure is low that means boiling point is low so liquid boils at low temperature if water boils at at the uh, ground level at 100 degrees celsius if it goes to everest if you go to everest the temperature of water at the everest will be 90 something that means below 100 so at higher altitude at when we go up the pressure decreases the boiling point decreases so this is the important answer liquid boils at low temperature at the top of hill in vacuum water boils that is also low temperature because at in vacuum pressure is low low pressure low pressure 
लो प्रेसर मीन्स लो बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट ट्राई टू रिमेम्बर हुई चू वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेथड वुड नॉट बी यूज टू सेपरेट एंड इनसोलबल सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड इनसोलिबल सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड इनसोलिबल सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड कैन बी इजिली सेपरेटेड बाय फिल्ट्रेशन बट क्वेश्चन इज नॉट सो क्रोमाटोग्राफी कैन बी यूज डिकैंटिंग कैन बी यूज एभापोरेशन एभापोरेशन कैन नट बी यूज बिकज हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेथड्स वुड नॉट बी यूज टू सेपरेट एंड इनसोलिबल सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड इनसोलिबल मीन सॉलिड इज नॉट डिजोलविंग नॉट डिजोलविंग मीन एभापोरेशन मेथड इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड If it is dissolved, then evaporation method can be used. So filtration easily separated. Insoluble means filtration, chromatography, and decanting. Both can be used. Fifty-one. A diagram. You see the diagram. A diagram shows the apparatus for separating, separating soil and water. Soil and water. What are the level of parts? When you use, because soil is water insoluble, soil will be settled at the where? This is the soil. So this is the soil and this is your water this is your water so correct answer will be which is the correct answer so you see here first part that soil is soil is water insoluble it remains at the top of the filter paper okay and the water will be collected at the bottom that is called filtrate b is called filtrate this is called filtrate and the substance remain on the filter paper that is called the residue so a is residue and b is filtered this is the correct answer a is residue and b is filtered then 52 question magnetic separation method is used if one of the component is magnetic both component are magnetic if both component are magnetic then we cannot separate so one of the component should be magnetic other should be non magnetic magnetic and non magnetic both mix we can separate the one component which has magnetic character factors affecting solubility of a substance are size of particles nature of solvent temperature of surrounding and all the above so factor affecting solubility depends on size of particles also depends small size easily soluble nature of solvent also already you know different solvent used for different substance temperature increases the solubility so all the above this is the correct answer all the above this is the all will be suitable for all 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 points are satisfying satisfying for this question then 54 mixtures need to be separated because to remove undesirable substance that is also correct to get desirable substance that is also correct to obtain highly pure substance that is also correct so all the above this is the correct answer all the above that is the correct answer then that is last question when the tiny particles of substances a substance are dispersed through a medium then the mixture is if the tiny particles are dispersed through a medium this is called alloyage this is called amalgam this is called suspension this is called as it is dispersed so correct answer is colloids okay so this is regarding the fifth, uh, that uh, 55 mcq questions from this chapter is matter around or pure so try to practice it you revise it whenever you watching the video you can pause the video whenever any problem in understanding the question you can pause the video and continue okay and uh, if you have not subscribe please subscribe the channel and also if you like this video please share the video to your friends okay thank you all